Hey there, Stan Arthur here again, and trying to help out this time, future USAF pilot who is trying to capture footage from DV tape from a Canon XL2 camera. Uh, I think I might be able to help you out here, but I'm not sure. I'm just going to try to offer something and uh, hope for the best. Uh, I used to capture DV footage all the time from a, from a Canon GL1, and uh, I always shot in the 16 by 9 mode, and it always squeezed the, the picture to a, you know, it squeezes 16 by 9 into a 4 by 3 uh, in, in, the, uh, in the actual uh, little monitor there on the camera. But uh, here's what you do for capturing now. Just uh, I use this keyboard shortcut, shortcut all the time. Just hit F5. It'll bring up, it'll it'll bring up your uh, capture utility, and uh, basically, just you just want to capture the tape uh, once you're, you've connected through uh, your your uh, FireWire. Um, I'm going to go to settings here. You see it says capture format DV. If you click edit here, you, the only two choices you have are HDV or DV. Uh, you're just going to stick with DV. Just go ahead and capture the footage here in the 4x3 window. That's fine. When you're done capturing, uh, what you're going to want to do is, is go to File, New, Sequence, and you're going to want to create yourself a sequence here uh, from the DV NTSC folder here. This is where you want to create a sequence from. You're going to go down to widescreen 48 kilohertz because because with DV footage, it's all about the pixel aspect ratio. It's 720 by 480, or sometimes 720 by 486, but it's about what pixel aspect ratio was used in the creation of that file. You're going to use the widescreen, click OK, and then just take that footage and drop it down into the sequence. And as you can see, the program is in 16 by 9. So once you take that footage and drop it in, it should appear in its natural 16 point or 16 by 9 format. I hope that helps you out. Uh, if it doesn't, let me know and we'll try again.